parkour is a way of adapting to the environment around you. It's working on techniques through physical training to get over obstacles. A true art form, this skill set requires discipline and precision. Today, I catch up with Hari Shuttaman to find out more about this grueling activity. One of the very few celebrities, actually the only celebrity that I know that indulges in parkour and have been doing this for like uh, for the last two and a half years or so, yeah, on and off, okay, despite his surgery. Now, parkour as a fitness regimen for a celebrity, how does that? I think first of all, as an actor, one has to be agile, flexible, and you know, only when you are agile and flexible, you got to move fast. Okay. You know, that is the basic thing. Basic uh, thing about parkour is you be super agile and flexible. And in my case, you know, I do mostly, you know, action movies where uh, there are a lot of uh, stunt sequences. So in that, parkour helps me a lot, a lot. You know, uh, before I started parkour, I used to go only to the gym, and I used to be this guy. You know, even I have to turn and be like, this is how I used to turn. But with parkour, my body became limp, free, you know, agile, with which I could move you know in, in, in no time so that way parkour has helped me and for actors i think parkour is really really important and i should tell you this there is no one till today none of the directors or the producers or the co-actors they have said oh wow they're doing parkour you know you should do it they've always said do not do it do not do it do not do it because they say they think it's it's really risky See, I'll oh, tell you, okay. when it comes to risk, it's there everywhere. You know, you go to the gym, you lift weight, you might tear up your, tear up your muscle. You cross you the know, street itself is a risk. Absolutely. So, you know, here, the risk is there. I'm not saying no. But I am very happy doing this. You know, the happiness which I get from here is like really, really a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy doing parkour here over here. Now, one of the first things that hit me about parkour is, um, okay, it looked fun. It looks like a lot of fun because it looks like a lot of fun. Yeah. Okay. Now, one of the biggest misconceptions about parkour is the fact that, and a lot of my friends, and even I used to think this, that when you join a parkour class, you get to just do, you get to jump, you get to scale, you get to, you get to fly, you get to do all of that and that's be what, fun. That's what everybody thinks. That's what I thought. <laughs> yeah. Up until you told so, me. Yeah. So. When I joined Paco for about 10 months, I did not do any of those jumps, any of those climbs, nothing. Every time when we get tempted to, you know, do a, a climb or a jump, they say, no, this is conditioning period. So this conditioning period, basically they get you ready for all the jumps, you know, they get your, make your body stronger. You know, like, let's say if you're doing a lower body workout, We'll be doing around 500 to 600 squats, different squats. So it'll be, the normal squat would be 100, jump squat would be 200, lunges would be 100, uh, jumping lunges would be 100, you know. So these are the, you know, approximate figures. So when you do this for around 10 months, you know, they have a calculation and they would know when you are ready to do the jumps, you know. So till then, you have to keep doing it. The actual procedure is, you train yourself, you condition your body for all what you're going to do. And then, once you are conditioned, your body is conditioned, your body is ready to take your weight, even if you're jumping from a 15 feet, or, uh, okay. or even if you're jumping from a 10 foot wall, you know, your body should be ready to take that weight. You know, your joints should be strong. Your, your quad, your legs, your calf, everything, your shin, everything has to be strong. So, for that, they prove. They prepare you. This is what I have gone through. Uh, so I was training till 2015. In 2015, in one of the shoots, I injured my knee. Yeah, I know this. Ligament, ACL, yeah. and I had to operate. I went through a surgery. Uh, I started parkour again from 2017. So the jumps which I was doing before 2015, it was very, very, very difficult to do it now. Okay. And you're still recovering. Uh, yes, I would say that, yeah. And, uh, you know, if I had done a 10 foot jump before surgery, now I'm not able to do that. So my trainer would make it 
you know, shorter. He would make it five foot jump. And from there, he'll help me six foot, seven foot, eight foot. So I'm, I'm, it's, it's, a, it's a process, you know. Every time, it's, it's a process. So uh, that way, I should thank my trainer, Vignesh and uh, Vishwa. They both have been really, really uh, patient and they have been teaching me stuff. So slowly, parkour is picking up, you know. People are noticing. So now, uh, uh, stunt master, Dilip Subrahim master, they are, he's the one who noticed them. So after that, after he met them, he started inclu introducing them to movies and include those parkour sequences in movies. Alright, um, so it's time for us to get into a little bit of your career because I, I want to talk about... Our, oh, okay. I want to talk about uh, Ta, I want to talk about all your projects, I want to talk about how you've just been becoming bigger and bigger and bigger and putting on more muscle, doing a lot of very, very poignant roles. But first, before that, Paco, a little bit of training, okay. I'd like you to... I, I, I would like you to, you know, join me. I... Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah? Hold on, let me get my pants up first. Bro, yeah. bro, what are you doing? Go for it. What do you mean, go for it? What? If my right elbow touches the ground, I won't be able to come back up. Oh, what is yeah. <laughs> cool. No, I'm just gonna stay at this for now. <laughs> We're gonna come back. We're gonna do a little bit of uh, parkour. I'm just, I'm just checking out the floor, bro. Yeah. This is nice. Floor. I know, I can see that. So, we, we'll be back. Just stick around. He's gonna be doing some stretches. He's gonna be showing you a few things. So, yeah, honey, show the man. Let's just. <laughs> It's nice You're That was good, that was good. See, I like I like the way, just like I told you, time and time again, at the, with the switch and the hello. jump, it was hello, nice. Hello, hello, hello. Just like I told you, yeah. So, why don't you give it a try? You want me to go through the round? Yeah. Let's go change your t-shirt and come, bro. Bro, go change your so t-shirt. So, if I change, bro, you, you change, Bro, you go you change your t-shirt and come, bro. You're all sweaty, we need to do an interview, <laughs> bro. These actors, I tell you. you want me to do it next? No, done. Ah. Do they have anything bigger, taller, skyscrapers, buildings? That must have been, that must have taken a lot out of you to do that. So, what I told you in that 10 months, the drills you go through, you know, it kind of prepares you for all these challenges, all these, uh, it is a risk, but, you know, they prepare you for that. You know, the workouts and the mental thing. You know, there are a lot of people who are scared of heights. They can't even stand on a spike, you know, but, in those 10 months, you kind of come over it. You know, that's where conditioning helps. So, you know, I find this, this kind of, this is a, you know, a procedure. You know, it's not like, okay, uh, I want to do parkour and just go, ready, go jump. You know, it's like they have a procedure and they will not let you do. And if my team, my coaching team, if they get to know that I am doing parkour somewhere out and I'm doing stuff which I'm not supposed to, that is it. That is it in the sense, when I come for the next class, I will be doing 100 or 200 burpees as the punishment. So when you come for come late for the class also, it is not like, you know, stand out of the class, nothing like that. No, no, no. That is easy. Yeah, yeah, that is easy. They say, okay, do 200 burpees and join soon. By the time you finish 200 burpees, you're like... In the film fraternity, it's safe to say you've done a role as a hero, you've done a role as character, you've done a role as, as a villain spread over quite a few projects and still going. How has that journey been so far? Very happy and can't ask for more. That's what I feel. I'm, I'm very happy wherever I am. Uh, as you said, I am doing a lot of negative roles, which I really like the most. Uh, and then I am doing character roles. And 
Now, recently I did a movie in Malayalam called Maya Nadi, which is, which is uh, directed by uh, Ashi Kabu. One of the best experiences I've ever had. I've ever had. So, so when the movie got over and when we saw the movie, I just went to the director, I just told him nothing. Next time you start a movie, I will not call you or I will not ask you. I will pack my bag and I will be here. You know, that's how, you know, you feel so good when when you work on a content based, you know, a movie and it was an amazing movie. It's a love story. Very uh, unconventional love story. Brilliant, very close to the reality. So I'm very, very happy about, you know, being a part of Maya Nadi. And, uh, yeah, I've done about 20, over 20 movies in Tamil Nadu and around 10 movies, over 10 movies in Telugu and a few movies in Malayalam. Uh, it's just been 8 years and I've crossed more than 30 movies which is like a blessing. Now you're showing off. I'm not showing off, I'm thanking God. There are instances as a struggling actor or any person in your industry, the biggest compliment you can ever receive is I think acknowledgement. It's not a pat on the back, yeah. it's not an attaboy, but it's an acknowledgement from someone that you look up to. And the second you've, you've touched that, and only you will know at that moment. He had one of those moments. You had one of those moments from, from a legend himself. So I'm not going to say who, I'm not going to say how it happened, but I have to push you to share that story because that's, right. that's really inspiring. Yeah, so it was uh, none other than Ilya Telepati Vitesa. I was doing this movie uh, with uh, Bhairava, Bhairava, yeah, yeah. Bhairava, the director. And uh, there was a sequence where uh, I was with Vijay sir. I was doing this scene where they were taking my close shot. And uh, Vijay sir was around, which I did not notice. And once the shot got over, I, I, was, I was going to sit somewhere and uh, Vijay sir's assistant came and told me that uh, Vijay sir is calling you. I said, you know, I, I went close to him. He said, uh, I said, Harish, he was very cool. And uh, he said, uh, Harish, uh, it's, it's very, very good to see, you know, you take a lot of interest and there's a lot of involvement you put. It's, it's really nice to see. That to tell this compliment. Said, Absolutely, from a person like him. <laughs> so I was very happy. So, and then he asked me, I don't know what I'm doing, I don't know what I'm doing, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Dylan Rose and my first movie was the lead role. And Seria Pola. And then he was asking me what is it about. And the first movie is the Patiyalan Geetle. And Alka Prama, he said, Harish, I think you're doing lead roles. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I'm very happy. You know, wherever I am, I'm very happy. I do not want to... Then we engage in anger, jump on your anger. You know, if it doesn't go well, then you know, rent the phone and lama for it. He said no. For a newcomer, it's on for a script. Panna, panna mari. You know, for a script, panna na. Definitely, it will work. You know, definitely, you will be successful again. So, you know, the experience he has. You know, I'm sure he would be able to look at a person and you would be able to read what kind of person that is and whether he could do what, whether he is capable or So, he's a lot of things you know. If you think about it, from a person like you, he is very telepathy, he has like one of the best compliments again. That itself made your day. Absolutely. What is one of the hardest parts of being an actor and who are some of the some of the people that you haven't worked with yet that you're looking for, some of the top of the uh, uh, people, directors wise, that you haven't worked with it, that you're just revving to be shown in their light. The hardest thing being an actor, according to me, it is, it is the waiting period. You got to be really patient, you know. You need a lot of patience being an actor. I think that is the only tough part, I think. See, other than that, whichever field you go to, you know, forget about being in the acting industry or being in the movie. You work hard today or tomorrow or day after or next week or next month or next year, it will come. That's what I believe. In. And that's what I have been doing. Work, 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 work hard. Involve yourself completely. You know, not just uh, 
This, this this interview whenever we when we do things here this is like a good luck charm thank this will help this will really help thank yeah yeah this will this will really help but uh, yeah thank you so much man um it was it was absolutely awesome it was absolutely wonderful wait, wait. so you still have to do the paco flow no we don't have to do anything we have to we have no, to wrap no, the show no, up no. you have to do it i think i think you can do it you know you taught me the morning stretches and kicks and all but that's the basics yeah I'm sure you can you can try out whatever I did. No, but I don't know if we have enough time cuz No, no, no. I'm I'm sure we have. Thank you very much. So we could we could you can do the same thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Come. Okay, you serious? Yeah, yeah. I'm okay. Very serious. Set up banga mar gaya. Let's go from here. Do you want to go another round? Huh? Another round? 